wanted to do a makeup tutorial. I just felt like it was a beautiful day, the lighting is on point, the air is coming out into my window, it's just, it's beautiful right now, so kind of felt like doing a makeup tutorial, so let's just get right into it. I just took a shower, I didn't wash my hair, I washed it yesterday, I'm not one of those girls, I just don't wash my hair every day, I wash it like every other day, or when it looks like crap. So, since I haven't done anything to my face yet, I'm going to start off with my Avena, Avena lotion that I put on my face like every single day, it just works for me. Um, I know my face is red right now, it just looks red. <laughs> I have like really sensitive skin. So whatever it may be, whether it's because I eat bad or it could be anything, it's so bad. But we gonna work with it. And, my arms. and then I spray some Mario spray on my face. It smells so good, and it just feels very refreshing, you know? Alrighty. I'm gonna jump into my Nivea primer. It's not an actual primer, but um, <laughs> obviously because it has men on there. Um, I got this from like a, a DIY one, one time on YouTube. I was looking for like a, a primer that worked just as good, because some people don't believe in primer and some people do, but... I was just trying it out so uh, like lately it's been working on me like it makes my makeup stay on it doesn't come off as easily like it doesn't feel as oily as quickly so we just put a little bit on that on my face it smells good I like these kind of smells you know when you like when men smell good that's a deal All over my neck. <laughs> and then just let that sit for a minute. You now we're just putting everything on my face. So, yeah, today's my day off, so. What better of a day to just do a makeup tutorial, so. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is like my everyday makeup. Kind of, if I do my makeup, this is usually like the, the way I do it, so. Yes. It works for me. I'm gonna use... Cover that red spot. <laughs> this is what I use. The cover girl outlast all day Ooh. three in one I get it from Walgreens a lot of these um, items are from like drugstore I usually do drugstore I do like the high end but when your girl don't got money she got to work with it so plus it's just nice it feels good to um to get something that's not so expensive and for it to work just as good as um, the high end, so. I don't know, I've seen a lot of girls that have, like their makeup looks so bomb and they're using drugstore, like they, you don't have to use high end makeup to in order to look good, you just gotta know how to use it, you know? So we're just gonna blend all of them. So people usually, um, start off with their eyebrows but I just can't my um my eyebrows don't look as good they just kind of get messed up if I um, do the whole face I'm sorry if I do that first and then I do my face so I'd rather just save it for the end I feel like I have a long neck in this video <laughs> just kind of dabbing it you don't want to smear it uh, not a good idea 
Sorry if I keep looking that way. I have a mirror right here next to me, so. In case I can't see everything. All the, the creases. You're gonna see the creases and the cracks in the mirror. And to be honest with you guys, I know how to thread my mustache. So I did it before the shower, because you know, I told you I got in the shower. And I was scared that when I got out of the shower that it was going to be just red. But huh, we good. We good. I'll just put a little bit more just to make sure I got that coverage. Not too crazy because Kiki is not bueno. And this is my room, you guys. It's not really much to it. I'll be honest with you guys. It's usually dirty. But, uh, you know. Oh my god. Let me just scoot it over a little bit. <sighs> yeah, my room is not really the hangout spot because it's always dirty. <laughs> but I clean it. I just, I don't know why it's so easy for me to get it dirty so fast, you know? I don't really know. Just one of those girls. I don't know. I guess the 2018 goal is to try to be more organized. It's weird because I feel like I am that at some time. It's like some point. It's like, like my purse. I feel like I have it organized right now. Like it's like a little backpack. I like backpacks versus like purses. And I feel like I have it pretty organized by my room. I just can't get it together. Maybe I just need more organizing stuff. We're gonna move on to um, concealer. I use the Maybelline. It's the Maybelline New York. It's the Fit Me. I got the 25 medium Mo Moyen. Medium Moyen. Okay, that's what we're gonna use today. I use that like this is my everyday makeup. This is what I use. I don't really change. I haven't really changed in a while because I used to be all into like watching YouTube videos about makeup like all the time. I was really into makeup. Sorry guys, I'm trying to see myself in this camera. A little bit there, a little bit of here. And because I'm not really going to try to go crazy on my um, eyeshadow. A little bit on my eyelid because if I were to do like an eyeshadow look or if I want to go all crazy with my eyeshadow I would use a prime like an actual primer that would make it last but since we're just doing a, a very natural look I conceal it with you also because also I don't really do crazy eyeshadow looks because I don't really have the um, tools to do my eyeshadow to make it look right. I've, I've tried before like with simple brushes and they've come out well. I just, it takes a lot of work and I feel like I don't really need a crazy eyeshadow look, really, if I'm just doing my everyday things. I mean, I feel like I don't do a lot of things. Work. Try to go to the gym. Try. Yeah. Hang out with my friends, of course. It's like if I'm not with my friends, I'm with my novio. If I'm with my, if I'm with my friends, I'm not with my novio. And yeah, and then I try to try to be home. I try. It's hard. I don't know. I kind of. I felt like before when, before when I was trying to stay home, I just kind of got depressed. I don't know what it is about being home sometimes, but I'm working on it. You know, I still live with my parents, so kind of been enjoying being home with family because the, the family's been kind of together at home. Like the other day, while I was editing. We were all, I was watching Wonder Woman, like my favorite movie I got for Christmas from Minovio, from my boyfriend. Um, 
and I was editing, we were just watching the movie together. It was, it was nice. Those days I cannot take for granted. Since this is kind of my first makeup tutorial, I mean, we'll get better and better at it, but just kind of work with it. Okay? If you're still watching, I don't know if you would just like click on it and then just get off. They're like, this girl's boring. It's okay. I do this for fun. I really do. Um, so, I don't know. I've been liking this. My LA Pro Concealer. It's uh, I use it for contouring. So like, Picking up these cheeks and like just like kind of bronzing around my face. I put some on today. For some reason, I feel like this makes just kind of start from the top of here and go down. Okay, because I can't see, but I feel like this makes um, my bronzer less. I mean, not that it doesn't last as well, but it just kind of makes it stay, like, together. Like, stays up. I don't, I don't know if you guys ever seen, like, some girls. Um, contour just kind of, like, sliding down. Sorry if you guys can't see it. It's, like, very light. It's not, like, a dark cocoa color. It's just enough to make my face stay brown. Or to look, um, a little darker than before, you know? I usually use the powder to really get in there. And I just kind of been using cream. Like using a concealer to contour before. That was never thing for me. I feel like it makes my face look good. If I really like try and get into it. It's so funny because usually I put some underneath here. But like one time I was hanging out with my friend. I don't know if I was rushing or something. It probably was. Oh no, we went out to LA. This is our LA video. We went, um, I don't know where we were going. But I did my makeup really fast and I had put some underneath here. And you know, I was doing my face really fast. I forgot to blend it and it was just like a dark <laughs> brown line underneath my freaking Underneath my chin, it was just so bad. I was just trying to rub it off, but it was embarrassing. I'm just gonna use the rest of the product and bring it down underneath my chin. I don't think I need to do a line today. We gotta start setting some stuff right now. Put everything together. So I just recently <clears throat> bought this product also when I went to LA, when I'm my LA video. I got the, Morph the Morphe um, banana powder. I was so excited when I saw it because I've always wanted to get banana powder. I just, I never ordered it online. There's so many times where I went straight to the website. I was like putting it in my cart, but I never officially bought it, you know? I don't know why. I just feel like it wasn't a priority, you know? But since I got my hands on it out there in LA, I was so happy. I was so surprised that it was there. I don't know, I don't really know much of what, um, because when I was looking for it on the website, and before when I really wanted it, it never took me straight to Morphe. I always saw it like Banana Powder has like their own website or something. So I didn't know that Morphe had it, so when I saw it there, I was so happy. And then how they, their prices are pretty well. It works better because you know how I have um, like Walgreen brand, Walgreen brand kind of makeup. It works better than my Airspun. My Airspun powder that I set under my eye, how I, used, I used to use that a lot. That was like my everyday. And before that when I actually had the money to buy stuff, I was using the, the what is it? Lucy La La powder? I don't remember how you pronounce it, but don't judge me. I see the banana powder works good. I just, the one thing that I noticed that it has a lot of flashback, and I know a lot of people don't like that. I mean, if you're always around cameras and stuff. 
Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Oh, and I have this weird problem. Where is it? Where if I put on makeup too early, I just get allergies. Like my eyes start reacting weird. Kind of dealt with that all my life. I'd be at school like this all the time. I'm crying. All the time. It was annoying. And I know I could be baking. A lot of people like to bake, but me, I kind of just like to set things and put them. Um, put it away. Like if I have time, or if I really want to go all crazy and go all out, I'll bake. With the banana powder, I feel like. I like to just set it in place right away. Just to pat it down and avoid any um, creases. Alright then, next. I guess I'll try to finish up my face and I'll work on my face. Since I'm doing a very like, simple eyeshadow look, I'll just, I usually just pat it with my finger on my, my eyelids. So. We're gonna go straight to bronzing, okay? Um, next, I'm gonna use the. Sorry, it's all like crazy dark, but it's the Hula Benefit powder that I use for my bronzer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Tex Neat brush. I just use it for my bronzing usually. Actually, I lied to you. I've been using a new brush. That used to be my old, like, I mean, I still throw it in sometimes to like really blend stuff in, but I use this. I think this is a Sephora brush. I honestly don't know what it is for, but or what number it is. But it works. I like to. I wanted to try something new. Let's go around forehead. Um, for Christmas, I got a um, gift card. My boyfriend got me a gift card for Sephora, and I honestly haven't spent it yet. Surprisingly, I'm like just debating on what I want to spend it on. You know, maybe. You give me get myself a, like a nice bronzer or contour kit or a foundation, you know. Kind of leaning towards a bronzer or a foundation. I get the I used to use the Born This Way foundation or the Kat Von D, and I feel like the Kat Von D was really good because my face I get really oily really fast. So I think that'd be good. A good foundation for me because I'm always running, I'm always like running somewhere, I'm always like sweating, I'm always hot. So I think that looks best for me if I want to do my makeup for work. But um, I'm gonna use the banana powder like for the bottom just to like carve out my my um, kind of contour because I feel like because I couldn't really see. I feel like it's like right here. My bronze is right here. That's not good. That's not a good look. I don't know, I feel like I've never done it with the, the banana powder, but I don't see why not, why it wouldn't work, you know? I think it looks better. It's weird, look, it's down here. Oh my goodness, this is a fail. Every video I make is a goddamn fail. <laughs> I'm gonna blend everything in. It doesn't look that bad, you guys. So next, I usually, um, because the banana powder is not, like I need a powder powder for my face, so I usually use um, the Stay Matte Powder, as you can see, this is like my favorite, this is like my only powder that I use, this is Stay Matte, long lasting pressed powder from Rimmel, Rimmel London, it doesn't sound right when I say it, but also another wild green item, just kind of pat it in my tea. Alrighty. Okay. And then I use, I usually put for like a bronzer or any kind of look on my on my cheeks. I use this. I don't know where the lid is at, but I use this. It closes like this too. But I think this is Lancome. This is what I got from Sephora one time a while back. I think this is very pretty. I like this on my cheeks. So we're gonna apply that with our MAC brush. I know this is MAC, I just don't know what number it is because the number kind of erased. 
but it's so good. Something about this, I feel like it makes my cheeks look cute. Oh, my legs are getting tired. Uh, so for eyeshadow, this is old, this is very old, but I like it because it's very natural. This is how you know I need to get some eyeshadows now. But this is Avon. This is nothing wrong with Avon, okay? Um, I don't know. I like using this one. It just has browns in there. So I'm gonna go with this color right here. Kind of a shimmery brown. I'm also gonna use my finger. In this one, I lost the mirror. <laughs> but I like to use this one right here. It's a very pretty brownish color. So we're just gonna throw that one right above it. Like so. Good. Just to give it a little brown, kind of smoky eye natural look to it. That's all we want. Nothing too special. And then for eyebrows. I use for eyebrows. I use the Anastasia. I got the the ebony. Have a dark color. And then I use this new brush that I got recently from Morphe when I went to LA. That is the R44. It's the gold, the gold color. I like the gold ones. I think those are the best ones there. I think. And I have to work on getting up, like a a brush, like a whole brush set. Just darken that up a little bit. It's not like I'm missing eyebrow or anything. Just kind of like to make them look a little darker. Very natural. That is my middle name. Natural. I feel like I'm making a lot of makeup gurus like cringe right now just watching this video. <laughs> Let me remind you guys, I am not a makeup artist. I kind of just do my own makeup. And maybe, you know, here and there, I'll do a friend's makeup. And I mean, they're happy with the way I do it. And then, you know, just to clean them up a little bit. This brush is incredibly dirty, but I got the MAC. Just like very flat brush. 195, just to clean them up a little bit. So I use my same concealer that I used for my under eyes and my eyelids. Just like a little bit on my... My hand right here. Tap it. Just to clean them up a little bit. I don't really go heavy or anything. Draw them out crazy. Anastasia It's just like a brow gel. I got it in the the granite color it's Just to set them baby hairs babies hairs up Just kind of brush out your eyebrow Bada bing bada boom And then Let's not forget the highlighter I feel like that really makes makeup. So in my bag, makeup come all together. This is the um, Becca, and I got it in the the champagne pop. Um, try and open it. I'm gonna use that. Whoa there, got a heavy hand over here. And then with my um, index finger, finger, just just a little bit down my nose. Not too crazy, not a... <laughs> Sorry you guys. God dang it. <laughs> it's under my eyebrow. Yeah. 
me something like this. It'd be thin and small, so I could just place it right underneath my eyebrow. I'm telling you guys, this highlighter, since I got it, I wouldn't change it for the world. Then, I like to put a little bit on my forehead, just a little bit. Kind of blend everything in. Some on my chin. And again, I'm going to go in with my index. Alright guys, I've come to realize my legs are not hurting because they're because they're in crisscross applesauce right now. But they're not hurting because I'm not flexible. They're hurting because I did leg day yesterday. And then just having them in the one like this the whole time. Kind of dying over here. My lips are looking crusty. Better, you know, like a hundred times better already. Oh, oh, just bear with me. And then for the lip, I usually use just like a chapstick, and I still need to put my mascara on. I uh, usually <clears throat> put on my mascara on and I. Crunch. Curl my eyelashes. I don't know why I can't think of it. I use this like every day. <clears throat> but I, um, mascara first and then I <laughs> curl my eyelashes because I feel like they look better that way. I just have like long straight eyelashes. So. Long, okay? Long straight eyelashes. And then, um, I'm just gonna do a lipstick and then I'm honestly just gonna cut this clip already because I'm done yet. Well, for fun, I think I'm gonna do like a a red lipstick since since I have um, since I have a natural look, I'm just gonna throw on a crazy lip. sharpness <laughs> um, lip liners really help because if you want to clean it up really well oh and this was I got this this is a lip I lip eye pencil I guess I don't know I've had that forever and then I got this Rimmel it looks like doo-doo I got it in any color 680, it's a Walgreens lipstick when I was allowed to lipsticks. I feel like now I have to do my my mascara and all that just so it all looks good. Aim um, clean thingy that I use for my eyes. this is good the end of the video I hope you guys enjoy this I know there's a lot that I can work on but we will get to we will get there okay slowly but surely but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this see you in the next video Just like